<laughs> All righty, guys. Go to Boy 32 here. Check it out. Man, I'm sitting here getting ready to mess up, and I'm having some fun. But either way, we're getting ready to do something really cool. Now, here's the deal. I'm just going to use the P09 Tactical uh, as my backup gun over at the three-gun event this week or next weekend. And uh, actually, I'm going to use the see this thing right here as my primary. But this is going to be the backup. And uh, one of the things that I've always found on this particular firearm, the grip is so big, it's so long, but it gets slippery when it's wet. Yeah, I know. Don't even go there. So what I did was, in, in an effort just to be economical, I ordered these traction grips off of Amazon. These things right here, these fit the CZP09, and basically that's it. They're like a rubbery thing. I, I, I really wasn't too overwhelmed with it. So I decided, you know, hey, man, I've got this uh, skateboard material right here that I used on some other stuff and you know you, you got this available to you so why not use it so I have gone back and forth I actually duplicated this thing with the grip tape and I, I wasn't satisfied with that because it this only covers the front portion of the grip just like that so I was like man why don't we do something else so I decided to you know me I can't leave well enough alone so I decided to go ahead and make a different version but having the back strap covered which you know required some cuts here and here and but I'll, I wasn't happy with the gap or the seam right here as you can see I highlighted it with the uh, with the black ink marker and I, I don't like that because I feel like over time that's going to separate. Well, this thing's probably going to end up being on the ground anyway at some point. So I tried to think of how I could do this. Now, this is wrapping the front, which means that I don't want the seam in the front. I want it in right here. I don't want it on the back strap. So I took the grip that was on there, and I sliced it down the middle to create a form. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to redo this grip out of a brand new piece of grip tape like this and see how we can do it. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'll be right back. I'm not going to make you guys endure having to watch this. Stand by. All right, so here we go, man. I just made the cuts. And basically what I did was I just took the, the one that was on there and applied it directly to this thing. Now what I want to do is a dry fit. Now I left it so that it would overlap about three quarters, actually two, uh, three eighths of an inch, somewhere along in there, along the front of the front strap of the firearm. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just dry fit it real quickly to make sure that it's what I want. And you know what? I think we're all right with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull the backing. Oh, well, no, first of all, we gotta do some cleaning. I got some denatured alcohol. Let me go get a rag so that we can do the rubbing and we'll dry it out. Stand All right, a little denatured alcohol here. Woo. This stuff is potent. And what I'm trying to do is just make sure, I've already done this once, <laughs> but I wanna make sure that I get all the grease and any oil on there from my hands, just to make sure that it's clean and everything. And that was one of the disappointing things from these guys at Tranch and Grips. They, um, they clean all areas of the grip with hot water and a drop of dish detergent. Thoroughly dry with a hair dryer, heat gun. Avoid touching, blah, blah, blah. In any case, I didn't, uh, I wish, you know, like the Italian grips, they include it. So it's, everything's already included. All you got to do is open up the little cleaning packet and you're good to go. Now you're going to need a hair dryer, which I happen to have one. Let's go ahead and here. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that we dry that denatured alcohol real, real well. All right, now we're ready to go. Okay, where did it go? It's right here. So we're going to go ahead and peel the backing off. Guys, this is one of the things I, I truly enjoy doing is do-it-yourself projects. It's a lot of fun, and it's just the satisfaction of actually getting something to, to work. Now, I lined it up with the top of the back strap on the back. I'm going to try to make sure that we're lined up. I'm going to line up one side of it. So, well, it looks like we're pretty decent. Sure, uh, it's not lined up. Okay, so we need to bring it over. All right, here we go. All right. Okay, we're looking over there. We're looking good. We're looking good over here. Uh, you know what? Let's tack it down. All right, so I'm going to bring the top part in here, and now I know why. Well, that's actually looking pretty good. 
I radius that end up right here because I want it to look nice. There we go. Let's bring it down on the back side. And you got to put these little cuts in there to allow for the arch. Same thing on the top here. Now what I want to do on the front strap, I want to overlap these so that I know that they will be secured. That is the bomb. Look at that. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now there's a little cutout. I might want to go ahead because I don't want that this to be in this radius point right here. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that so that it's flush right here in the center of the front strap. So we am just go ahead and cut a straight line down through there. Bring it on. Yeah, <laughs> diggity dog, I'm so excited. Look at that. So yeah, man, there you go. Do it yourself. I'd have to say I'm a big fan of the skateboard material. And I tell you what, that just adds so much to it. Let's do this real quickly. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, heat to it so that uh, it can adhere real well. And we'll get this started. Here we go. I'm going to heat it up real good. I want that stuff to stick. Well, there you go, guys. Check that out. That is nice as it can be. A lot of surface on there. I don't like putting anything on the beaver tail because it does irritate the skin. But that is on, and it is in it to win it. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and put this thing back together real quickly. That is so much nicer of a pistol now. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Get some uh, Swish paper off of Amazon. This was like 13 bucks. And I've had an, I got enough here to do like three or four different pistols. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't impressed with the uh, traction grips. I got these for $9.99 off of Amazon as well. But uh, pretty easy. All I can do is make a template, go ahead and cut it out, and there you go. That, ladies and gentlemen, is freaking awesome. So Coda Boy 32 if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already done so. And then we always end it like this. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. And God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not free. Pray for those guys out there in Houston. We got another one coming in. Irma. We got some good friends in the group who are down in Florida. We're praying for you guys. Hang in there and uh, hope she turns back out. So that's it, guys. Good old boy 32. Out. That's cool as I'll get out in it. I like that. Very nice. Very clean. Mm-mm-mm.